Hello. So, social media propaganda can help to defeat aging. Propaganda does not have to be a bad thing. Propaganda can be a bad thing. Propaganda can be used to promote bigotry and hate. Propaganda can be used for good purposes, like reducing, reducing smoking, getting people to exercise more, wearing seatbelts, so on and so forth. So we can use propaganda on social media to help to defeat aging. If we create a grassroots movement of people who want to see aging defeated, then we can do things to try and hasten the defeat of aging. We can try to encourage politicians to fund research that could lead to the defeat of aging. We can try to get politicians to classify aging as a potentially treatable disease. We can do this on social media. Social media is not the only way we can do this, but I think it is a good way to do this. Many politicians are on Twitter. Many senators are on Twitter at federal and state levels. Many representatives are on Twitter at federal and state levels. They are on Facebook. So you can tweet to politicians, encourage them to read the book Ending Aging by Aubrey de Grey. You can encourage them to fund research that could lead to the defeat of aging. You can encourage them to fund organizations like the SENS Research Foundation and the Buck Institute for Research on Aging and the Methuselah Foundation and the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. You can tweet to them. Go to their Twitter page, click the little tweet button, use that at sign in their Twitter username, and politely request that they do what they can to help hasten the defeat of aging. And again, tweet to politicians. Don't spam them. Don't do it 10 times an hour. Don't do it 10 times a day. Maybe do it once a week or once a month. If we have, if we get thousands of people or tens of thousands of people to tweet to politicians once a week or once a month, we can get our message across that aging needs to be defeated. Aging is our worst humanitarian crisis. Aging kills about 100,000 people each day. Every 24 hours, about 100,000 people die of human aging. So if you or anyone can hasten the defeat of aging by just one day, then you can save 100,000 lives potentially. I would encourage you to donate money to the Sons Research Foundation and the Methuselah Foundation and the Life Extension Advocacy, Advocacy, Advocacy Foundation, I can't speak, and uh, encourage others to do the same. But again, using social media propaganda to hasten the defeat of aging. We can tweet to politicians. You can message them on Facebook. Not only can you use social media, you can call politicians. Um, you can write them a paper letter using snail mail. That's always a good option. On social media, you can encourage others to do what you're doing. So don't just be a follower, be a leader. Try to be a leader in hastening the defeat of aging. So encourage others to do what you are doing. If we can get many people to devote five, ten minutes a week to contacting politicians, to try and, to try and have their voice be heard, it doesn't take a lot of time. It doesn't take a lot of time. Five or ten minutes a week, if, if 50,000 people in the United States devoted five to ten minutes per week or even per month to contacting politicians to try and educate them about why we need to defeat aging, then I think pretty fast politicians will be educated on why we need to defeat aging. I think this is a good idea personally. I hope you agree with me. We can use social media propaganda in a good way. Propaganda does not have to be illegal. It does not have to be unethical. Again, it can be good. We can use propaganda to try and deter people from smoking or to stop people from drinking too much or to wear seatbelts. Propaganda can be a good thing. And I'm, promo I'm, promo I'm uh, proposing we use propaganda to contact politicians, to use social media to contact politicians to encourage them to help hasten the defeat of aging, and we use social media to try and mobilize other people 
to use social media to hasten the defeat of aging. And yeah, I'm gonna end it there. So please think about what I'm saying. Uh, and again, if we can get tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of people to be contacting politicians just once a month with five minutes of their time, we can pretty fast get politicians to know that there are a lot of people wanting to see aging defeated because it is our worst humanitarian crisis. And also those same people, if they can afford it, they can each donate you know, five bucks a month or even $10 a year, that's more than what most people are doing, to organizations like the Buck Institute and Sense Research Foundation and Life Extension, Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. We should get people to donate their time and money as much as possible, as much as they're able and willing to. We shouldn't coerce anybody. We shouldn't force anybody. We shouldn't do anything illegal or unethical but I think this can all be done very ethically and legally. And by getting this done, I mean creating a grassroots movement to tell politicians that they need to help defeat aging. Politicians have power. They allocate government funding and they decide what the government considers a disease. So politicians need to fund organizations like the Sens Research Foundation and the other ones I mentioned and they need, they need to classify aging as a disease. Politicians need to help hasten the defeat of aging. And we can use social media propaganda to get this message across using grassroots activism. So I'm going to stop it there. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Watch my other videos. Visit my websites. Uh, support me on Patreon. Read my books. Listen to my music. And have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, or night, whenever and wherever you may be. Cheers and limitless peace to you.